Okay guys, so in this one we are going to make our app to actually accept entries, like so when somebody comes to your site and they want to contact you or join your newsletter or anything like that, you need something to actually accept the entries to do that. So let's make sure that we're in the root folder. The root folder is where manage.py is of uh, the MVP landing project. Um, so we are there, that's manage.py, and if we look even in our... Um, our folder here it's basically where that is right so that's the root folder right here um, and so what we'll do here is manage.py python type out python manage.py and then you do start app and we will call it join and a new folder was created it has these new things in here that you haven't seen yet um, and it's also in your Komodo edit if you don't see it there you can just hit control click and then hit refresh view or right click if you're on Windows um, and what we need to do is we need to make models so things that will actually hold and accept this data and we're gonna call it class join and we're going to models dot model and I'm just gonna delete that other stuff it's kind of giving you a like a guide to follow with that other stuff so class join first thing we want to do is we want to definitely get their email so we'll do models char field max length um, of an email let's say 250 characters and that's that okay so then we'll do how about full name goals models char field we could probably do the exact same length uh, but one thing we don't actually need it filled in so we can do null equals true and blank equals true so what's going on here is null means it can be empty in the database blank means it can be uh, submitted empty so you can do this but you'll have a database error because it's not all completely empty um, so okay so now we have oops got a little error here See, that's a nice thing about Komodo Edit is it'll show me that I have some type of syntax error uh, right away. Um, so we have their name and their email. This is probably all we really need, but I always like to put a timestamp just so I know exactly when it was submitted. And it's just a date and time field, and you'll do an auto uh, now add equals true, and auto now equals false. Okay, so I'll just explain these real quick. Auto at now add means as soon as it's added to the database, is it going to record that time? Yes. Is it going to record it every time it's updated? No. You don't have to understand what that means, but basically if we were changing this stuff and we hit save, um, auto now would, would uh, if it was true, it would, it would save that number. And that's actually really good for something like updated. Uh, which we will do at some point in the future. And now we're going to have to provide a Unicode for it. And again, it, it provides a little guide for you. And then you can hit return self.email is what I'll do. So what this is doing is it's saying every time you call uh, somebody's entry, it's going to return their email as a default. Of course, you could say full name here. Um, but we don't want that because we can have it blank. So that's not good. Where email will not be blank. All right. So we can save that. And what we want to do now is we want to make sure it's actually installed. So we go into our settings, right? Settings.py and then go down to installed apps and make sure join is installed. And now we'll go into our terminal and we'll do a Python manage py sync database all right it's syncing and it's creating the tables and then it created the table now you might be tempted to come back here after you did the sync database to add something let's say we don't want it to be or change something you don't want it to say full name you want it to say first name and then you want it to say last name equals that and you wanted to add zip code now, you would think, oh, okay, well, good. Now I'll just do another sync DB, and looks like it's good, but it's really not. 
So what happened here was we added things and we made changes, but you can't do it that way. I'll show you how to do it soon, but just make sure that you know that you can't just make changes on the fly like that. You have to keep it just like that. So now we have this model installed. Um, we are pretty much ready to add it to the admin. So that's this thing right here. So let's just copy this here and we're gonna make a new control click. We'll do this, we'll make a new file. Control click gets this menu up and we'll call it admin.py. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna paste that in here and we'll do class, oops, actually we wanna import that model. So from dot models import join, that's the one we just created. So dot means in the same folder, right? Join folder where admin is models import join right pretty simple and then we'll do class join admin because admin dot model admin and you can delete the rest and class meta model equals join and then we'll do admin dot site dot register and join and join admin now you will see what this does shortly. Oops, I forgot a colon there. Uh, you'll see what this does shortly when we jump into the admin. Uh, but basically, we need to run the server. First, I'll run that server. Okay, so basically what's happening is it's actually registering this information into our admin. So the admin is really good for you and I to just use. It's not really good for average users or anyone just casually visiting the site. You don't really want them in the admin. So let's jump in, make sure that it's working, it's on, it's ready to go. We can see this and let's go to the admin and notice that there's this joins here now. Before we only had these two in sites. So now joins is here. Select join to change and you can see this add join. So now we have this form where I can actually do stuff. Um, and I can even try and add a join object. So we save it. It's saved. Uh, we made a mistake though. Um, so email actually has its own field called email field. Okay, so let's just change it just like that and not actually do anything. And we will go back in here and hit do a quick little refresh. And then let's go in here and hit save. And it actually did change for us. So this is kind of cool because um, email field was not a whole lot different from a char field and it's just kind of checking things for us. Uh, if we ran into errors, like I'll add that zip code one now, equals models dot integer field default equals zero. Okay, so I'll just do a quick refresh. No such column. Okay, so let's see. That means that I have a database error, and let's cancel out here with a control C and we'll do a python manage.py and we'll sync the database and it looks like it installed like we said before but it really didn't okay so in the next one we are going to fix it so that zip code table actually works so you can see how you can actually change the models and then we will also make it so the um, the join will work on an actual web page as opposed to just the admin